Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Pat Flynn Show. We are going to share with you today the ultimate warrior kettlebell complex workout. This is a sneak peek of one of the new routines that is included in one of my new programs, the upcoming 2021 iteration of 216s. For those of you who were around last year, 216s was a very popular program that just was a big old fat hairy, juicy collection of high intensity double kettlebell workouts meant to get the biggest calorie burn in the least amount of time with, as the title implies, just two 16 kilogram kettlebells for men. I would generally rec recommend around two, eight kilogram kettlebells for most women. So it was just, yeah, just a big old happy, hairy. I don't know why I keep saying hairy. That's really weird sounding, but that's, that's, that's what keeps coming to mind. Happy, hairy collection of, uh, and juicy, definitely juicy kettlebell workouts um, for for just uh, yeah, burning more calories in less time, having a lot of fun, uh, and all that sort of thing. So anyway, sorry, I'm just waking up, friends. Bear with me. We're going to share with you one of the new concoctions from the upcoming uh, uh, 2021 iteration of 216s, which is just a new collection of, of all new uh, double kettlebell workouts, high intensity metabolic conditioning type workouts. So if you like bang for your buck kettlebell routines, uh, you're going to, you're going to be interested in this. Um, if you are an email subscriber, that program is now on discounted pre-order. So, you know, check your inbox because I sent a link out for that yesterday. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to share one of the new routines. I think you're going to love it. Uh, this will be a good way for you to sample what's in the workout collection. So if you like this type of workout, you will probably love 216s. But this is my gift to you, free of charge. Uh, so if you're, um, if you're listening, you might, wanna, you might wanna take some notes because I'm literally just gonna walk through the workout. I'm gonna describe its structure, a little bit of, of the kind of, I guess, the, uh, the theory behind it. Uh, but I will just write the whole thing up and include it over at the show notes at chroniclesofstrength.com as well. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you'll be treated to another exquisite Pat Flynn PowerPoint. So you'll have a little visual aid here. As you can see, uh, we've got the glamour shot to start. And, um, and, and yeah, but Hey, do me a favor real quick. If you're on YouTube, headbutt the like button, sidekick, the share button, uh, hit that subscribe bell, the little belly thing, uh, leave a comment. Let me know who your favorite professional wrestler is. You can probably get a guess of mine. Um, and if you're on iTunes, yes, the, 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 the sharing, the overly fawning gushy gooey reviews really helps. I would super appreciate it. All right, let's begin the ultimate warrior kettlebell workout. How must we prepare for this? Well, we must prepare by asking, of course, the man himself. So let's see what he has to say. Oh yeah. How must I prepare? You must ask yourself, should I jump up the tallest building in the world? Should I lay on the lawn and let him run over me with lawnmowers? Should I go to Africa and let it trouble me with raging elephants? Ah! Oh, yeah. I have never been so inspired to work out in my life than when I just see the ultimate warrior and his incredible antics. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the old, like late eighties, early nineties wrestling scene. It's just everything about that is just so, um, perfectly ridiculous and over the top that it's really hard not to enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, that's where the inspiration for this came from. But since most people probably don't want to prepare their bodies by, um, getting run over by lawnmowers or raging elephants, we're going to do it the old fashioned way. We're going to use kettlebells and, and resistance training. So what is the ultimate warrior workout? What is the structure here? What are we doing? Let me explain that to you right now. So we're going to build a six exercise kettlebell complex, one exercise at a time, starting with two exercises, the double swing and push up. So let me, let me expand on that a little bit. So a kettlebell complex, as we know, is a series of exercises done back to back with little to no rest in between. Uh, and we're going to work up to a six exercise kettlebell complex, but we're going to kind of build it piecemeal. We're going to build it um, by adding an exercise every round. So we're kind of constructing the complex on the fly, if you will. Uh, imagine we're kind of making a, a sandwich, right? So we have two pieces of bread, and that would be the the double swing and the push up. And then every every round, we're gonna add, we're gonna like put in a, a new piece of deli meat, a new exercise, if you will. Uh, and then once the uh, so it will, until there's six exercises total until we get this nice big fat club sandwich of a, of a complex, um, then then now that would be that would be an awesome workout in of itself. You just put that on repeat, you're going to have a phenomenal workout. Um, but 
it wouldn't be the ultimate warrior workout. So it's, it's going to get, it's going to get a little bit more in, insane and intense than that. Uh, because once the complex, once we build it the first time, we're going to build it again, but then we're going to do it at a higher rep range. And then once we complete it that time, we're going to do it again and then do it at an even higher rep range. So we're going to be doing a ton of work and this gets very intense. So not for the weak of heart or fragile by nature, my friends, but, uh, I know, I know you guys, you guys like a good workout challenge. And I think you're going to love this because uh, it is, it, it really is it just a tremendous workout, right? It works multiple muscle groups and energy systems simultaneously, really cranks the metabolism. You're going to get a phenomenal calorie burn from this. You're going to get power, strength, muscle building, uh, endurance, just total body conditioning. Uh, you're, you're, we're going to be doing hinging, squatting, pushing, pulling. So it really just checks all the boxes, but it is intense. So let me just say this. If you're completely new to kettlebells, you don't, you don't start with something like this. Like you, you, you got to know your way around the kettlebell. You got to know the, the, the fundamental exercises and the double variations. So I would say this is sort of maybe like an intermediary to advanced workout, not necessarily a beginner workout. It's not like overly technical. We're not doing like any like super technical exercises, but because it's intense and because the fatigue will build up, you, you really want to make sure you come into this having a strong command of the technique and that you're able to maintain poise under pressure because you will get very fatigued as we, as we go along with this. And, and you really are, uh, you really do want to push yourself with this one as well. Okay, so let's start talking details now. Here's where uh, you, you want to start writing things down. If you're taking notes, please don't do that while you're driving. Uh, again, I'll have all of this written up over at chroniclesofstrength.com. I'll just make a little um, image of it for your convenience. So, but uh, I want to explain it to you because it, it, it is, it's, it's a simple workout, but it's, a, it's kind of like a little bit complicated because you got to see how it's built and um, the ordering of the exercises and that stuff matters. So there's a little thinking involved, not too much. We'll save most of the energy for the muscles and won't, won't use up too much from the brain, but the brain has to be on. All right. So, so round one is going to be this, you're going to approach the, the two kettlebells and you're just going to do uh, uh, one rep of double swing and then one rep of push up. And if you want, you can do the push ups on the handles of the kettlebell. If you're stable and you're good at that, if you're, if it's, if you're not stable there, if you're not good at that, then just do the push ups. uh, to the side, do them with your hands on the ground. So, uh, common sense, prudence, all that sort of thing. Then immediately after that, you're going to, you're going to add in another exercise. We're going to start building that sandwich. So then you're going to come back, you're going to do the double swing again. Then you're going to do the double clean. So we're adding in an, there's the first addition there, the double clean, and then you're going to put the kettlebells down and do another push up, right? So you can see how, uh, we're starting to build the sandwich. Okay, afterwards, immediately, we're going to add another exercise. So round three would be double swing, double clean. We keep that addition in. Then we add a double press, full uh, double overhead military press, and then kettlebells down, and we do a push-up. That's round three. Immediately after that, we're going to add another exercise, which is the front squat. So we're going to do a double swing. We're going to do a double clean. We're going to do a double press, right? So we're keeping everything that we've added before. And now we're going to add, after the double press, a front squat. Nice, full, deep, double kettlebell front squat. And then we'll finish with the push-up. And then round six is where we uh, put the toothpick in the sandwich. And we're going to go, uh, I'm sorry, round five. This is round five. But now we have all six exercises. We're going to do double swing double clean, double press, front squat, push up, and then the toothpick is the bent over row. So after you do the push up, you're going to come back into that nice deep hinge and just do that uh, um, uh, horizontal row with the two kettlebells. All right, so this is the uh, complex in its entirety right here. So this is what we're working towards building. Um, and we have the two pieces of bread that have, have been there from the start. That's the double swing and the push up. And we filled it up with double clean, double press front squat. And then we tacked on finally at the end a bent over row uh, at the very end. So the bent over row is kind of, it's a little bit of the exception because it's outside of the bread rather than in it, but that's purposeful. So you can think of it as the toothpick holding the sandwich together. I don't know. I'm terrible with illustrations, but that's, that's what we're doing, right? So, okay. Again, if you just did that and maybe you did it, you know, two or three times, that itself would be a phenomenal workout. You would, you would, that would just be awesome by itself, but that would not be the ultimate warrior workout. Here's how we get to do the ultimate warrior workout. Once we get here, right? Once we get to the full complex and we've run through the full thing of all six exercises, we're then going to start over, but now we're going to do two reps of each, my friends, two reps of each. So we're going to start over. We're going to build it in exactly the same way. The only thing that changes is now we're doing two reps of everything. So we'll start with two double swings, two push-ups. 
then, you know, right after that, we're going to start introducing those other exercises again. We'll go back to two double swings, then two double cleans, two push-ups, And then after that, we'll do two double swings, two double cleans, two military press, two push-ups. Um, and then we'll do two um, uh, double swings, double cleans, military press, front squat, push-ups. And then finally, uh, we'll do two of all of those again. And then two have been over row at, at the end. So here's the, here's the general sequence. All right. And, and this is, again, would be worth noting because this is where you got to think a little bit, cause you got to remember what exercises we're doing and what order we're doing them in. So, uh, yeah, maybe you want to just keep the piece of paper or, or something in front of you the first time you do the workout. Eventually you'll, you'll have it in your memory, but at first you're, you're, you're going to want to, um, make sure that you're doing the right exercises in the right order. So the sequence here is, um, is important. All right. So you'll always, you'll always start with double swings and pushups. Then, then you will add, uh, one exercise per round in the following order. You'll always add double cleans first, then the double press, then the front squat, then the bent over row. So the, the bent over row is the last addition. And once you have the bent over row in, you know, you've completed, uh, the sandwich, the complex is complete. So the first time you build it, it's one rep of each. The second time you build it, it's two reps of each. Now here's where we're going with this. Um, the third time you build it, it's going to be three reps of each. So first time through one rep of each, then two reps of each, then three reps of each. And then finally five reps of each. That is the ultimate warrior kettlebell complex. Now, a couple of ways you could do this. You could just, you know, go up to go up to that. Where you, where you build the thing over again until you get to five reps of each and call it there, that, again, will be a just absolutely splendid and incredible workout. Uh, and you, you can thank me later. Uh, but also, or you could just put a certain amount of time on the clock, say 20 minutes. Uh, I would not do any more than 30 minutes. Um, and then just see how far you can get. Uh, and if you can get all the way through, awesome. Uh, if not, then... Um, then you, however far you get, you get. And the next time you can try and beat that. Uh, if you get all the way through with some time left over, you can just start over again. So then you start back at one and just start the, start the whole project over again and repeat that as many times as you can in the amount of time that you've allotted yourself. Now, we do have a special um, variation of this, and I call this the get run over with lawn lawnmowers variation. And that is, for all of you um, especially crazy people out there, you could add an extra round and go up to eight reps of each. And that is, of course, um, borderline masochistic. Uh, but I know some of you really like to, um, to, to, to dabble with uh, self-torture. So if that's, if that's you, if you're into that sort of thing, then you can do the run over with lawnmowers variation and go up to eight reps of each, which, of course, is, is uh, horrendous and obscene. Um, but yeah, so wait, like I said, this comes from the two sixteens program. So for most men, two sixteens for most women around two, eight kilogram kettlebell, trust me, you do not really need any heavier weight than that. This is again, a full body metabolic conditioning complex. It's not meant to be like a low rep, heavy armor building type of thing. Uh, yes, this will help you build strength. Yes, this will help you build muscle, but it's again, it's the sort of metabolic capacity that we're trying to increase with this. So there you have it, my friends, that is the ultimate warrior kettlebell complex do me a favor give me a shot let me know if you do the normal version or the run over with lawnmowers variation i'd love to hear how you do uh what you thought of it uh the comment section is open as always please please give me uh your feedback on this if you like me sharing routines like this of kind of like giving you a sneak peek into some of my programs i'm happy to do it i really am and um if you enjoy it and you want more, then come check out the 216's uh, kettlebell workout program. Like I said, it's now the, the new iteration, which is just a, an entirely new collection of workouts, is now on pre order. Uh, it's a pre order discount for uh, my email subscribers. Uh, so for the next week, I'll be that'll be um, sent out to uh, email subscribers who want to uh, get this program. Uh, it's a really good deal, guys. It's a, I'm, I'm charging for the pre order, it's just 20 bucks, uh, but it's only available to my email subscribers. So if you um, are not part of my email list, you can get on that over at 101kettlebellworkouts.com, which, which by the way, gets you 101 free kettlebell workouts. You'll get a huge free workout collection anyways. Uh, but then, um, you know, there's a lot of perks to being an email subscriber. You get, um, uh, my, my sort of daily, uh, musings. Uh, I share lots of workouts, you know, training advice from generalist and minimalist perspectives, um, it's really where I produce my, my most content. And then of course there's exclusive programs and discounts that, uh, only subscribers get access to. So I think it's worth it. I think you should come check it out. We have a fun time 
And uh, yeah, there's some uh, descriptions about what 216s is about there for those of you who would be interested in that. Uh, it's just a collection of quick and dirty, high intensity double kettlebell workouts, very minimalist, very effective. Most of the workouts are between 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and they train all the one, all the things you could want uh, in, in virtually just the same routine, strength, muscle, endurance, all that. Uh, so yeah, ha come join my email list. I invite you to do that. Um, but also let me know how this workout goes. If you do the ultimate warrior, um, complex, um, shoot, you know what? Um, I've got some stuff to give away. I promised Dan, John, I would give away some DVDs. Um, if you film yourself doing this workout, and you somehow put it on YouTube and tag me or email me or you put it in the Strong on Facebook group. We'll, we'll give some goodies away. But either way, let me know how it goes. Please subscribe. Please um, share with both of your friends. Uh, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it.